What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It seems James Mangold was on Twitter on this beautiful Sunday morning. A beautiful Sunday morning. He was searching the hashtag Indy5, and uh, he's not too happy with people criticizing his film already. He's not too happy. He's like he's in a bad mood, I guess. Uh, does it sound kind of familiar from another director from Lucasfilm that kind of went on Twitter and just kind of went after little people, went after some folk, you know? Anyway, we'll get to that in a second. But here, Matthew Kadish, uh, before we begin uh, in this tweet, I, I just want to note that he needs to change this avatar quickly because even if he wrote something about, like, sunshine and rainbows, I would be angry because of this avatar. He needs to get rid of it. Um, it's that's an old style of, I mean, that's dumb. I mean, get rid of it, Matt. I'm sorry. That's my criticism for you. It doesn't matter what you tweet. When people see that, they're going to be angry. So please do away with that immediately. Uh, he talks about Indy 5. He says, to anyone thinking Indy 5 might be good, just let me point out Spielberg's not directing. Kennedy is in production. Harrison is uh, 78 years old. And it's written by the guy who wrote Solo. Valid points. The track record from Kathleen Kennedy as of late has not been very good. Um, but yeah, uh, Mr. Mangold, the director of Indiana Jones 5, didn't really like that too much. He's like, thanks, Matt. Keep making the world a better place, crapping on things in the first week of production from your basement. Here comes the name calling. Uh, here comes the name calling. Now, did he have a right to respond? Absolutely, he did. Absolutely. But here's the thing. Uh, so if anyone is questioning, if anyone's thinking this movie's going to be bad, to anyone that's just like, man, they shouldn't do it. They should, le should leave well enough alone. Um, is James going to call you a basement dweller? Is he going to say, go back to your mom's basement? Go back. Like, that's basically what they're saying. They're like, nerd, go back to your basement. Go back to your mother's basement. You nerd, like, go back there. It's that, that's when they throw out that, um, that type of criticism here. Um, and when he's talking about the basement, he's talking about the Salty Nerd podcast, which is a very small YouTube channel that's not even monetized. So that's like not even at the time I'm making this video, it doesn't even have a thousand subscribers. Uh, he goes on and says, never seen a script by John, nothing against him. So that kills that, that the guy writing solo is not writing Indiana Jones. And, um, so the Salty Nerd podcast, this is salty right here. Uh, there's Kate Ish right there. Um, he just throws out a photo and just says, we don't have basements, but we do have kick-ass studio with the Batman statue. All well and good. All well and good. Uh, Mr. Mangle didn't like that at all. He's like, yeah, okay. That's a studio. Congrats on the Batman statue and the jar of corks. So how about you let me finish my film, then complain all you want about it in front of your vinyl bricks. <laughs> Lit by your fancy bounce light. And maybe don't call opinion news. Um, this is the thing. We have seen Hollywood directors, uh, producers. They don't like YouTubers. They don't like podcasters. They never have. They never have. They don't like when people complain about something. They don't like when people uh, criticize. Again, did James have the right to come back and say something to Matt, Matthew? Of course he did. Of course he did. But he started with the the mud, the little name calling, you know? Um, he could have easily said whatever he wanted, but I'm just saying. So now that he's thrown some mud and people are going to throw some mud back, it just starts this whole Ryan Johnson trend. <laughs> Remember, Ryan Johnson from The Last Jedi would throw middle fingers at people. And call people man babies, people with opinions, things like that. Um, this is classic behavior from people working at Lucasfilm. People working at Lucasfilm. Now, what I'm going to do is put the Salty Nerd podcast YouTube channel in the pinned comment below. And what I always do when I promote a channel is subscribe to it. Listen to what they have to say. And if you don't like it, unsubscribe and move on. But they're very balanced. Actually, they've they've praised um, James on a couple of their films. Uh, and I believe Salty Nerd does that right here. Uh, let's see. He's defending himself. 
over and over and over. I mean, salty response here. It says, man, uh, I've liked several of your movies and I have no gripe with you personally. Basically saying you have to accept the fact that lifelong indie fans don't have a lot of confidence in the fifth film. I'm being one of them. I haven't openly criticized the movie yet, but my confidence in the film and now this because someone is getting nervous that people are starting to criticize the pieces that are lined up in this film and saying, man, this don't look good. And people have been doing that forever. All right. Forever. Um, actively arguing with people on Twitter is never a good look. No, it's not. It's the Ryan Johnson thing all over again. And, and the, the whole Ryan Johnson treatment all over again. But I mean, you know, he, he's defending himself. Uh, he goes on and on salty for his podcast. And uh, there you have it. But it just didn't end there with Mr. James. Let's continue. Uh, here's Ryan Kennel. <laughs> he says the director of Indy 5 is taking some time to search the hashtag to crap on people and literally spurg out about uh, Trump on random timelines. LOL, Lucasfilm is a disaster. James responds to Ryan. So let me get this right, Ryan. You can spurg out about me, but I'm supposed to stay silent when you do it and bait clicks because Lucasfilm and not random timelines, the same timeline of the dude spurging about my film. Uh, this person says, hey, man, maybe you should be a little more polite. He goes, thanks for the tip. When I'm dealing with someone polite, I will try. So, Ryan, you're not being polite here. You're not being polite here. Uh, Mangled apparently deleted this tweet about getting the shot and talking about the whole political nonsense um, going on back and forth. Because when you click on it, it's gone. James actually goes on a little back and forth with Matthew here. He says, Matthew starts off saying Ford will always be Indy. The issue is whether he's still believable as a character if he's doing crazy action scenes pushing 80. That is a valid criticism. James comes back and says, have you read the script, Matt? Of course Matt hasn't read the script. Clearly not because you don't even know who wrote it. Well, I hope that deals, you know, with all the rumors that the, the solo kid, the guy who wrote Solo, is not writing the film unless he's just not allowed to say. Um, he says, for all I know, I could be addressing all your worries. Matthew comes back politely saying, sir, I would love it if you prove me wrong. I made a great Indiana Jones movie. I've been an indie fan since I was a kid, and it's one of my all-time favorite franchises, but it's hard to get excited for what I'm seeing. For many of us, it is hard getting excited for what we've seen. And that's okay. That's what movie is. We talk about it. Hey, have you seen the trailer? I don't like the trailer. I like the trailer. Have you seen the photos? Why is this here? We question. We talk. We debate. We go back and forth. But have a different opinion. And it's not a good look anymore. James comes back and says, I'm sorry you're finding it hard to get excited about a film I'm making, Matt. Considering you don't know the story, the script, the title... Only some of the cast, nor have you seen images. If I were you, I would spend my time flipping hot takes about something that exists. There it is. Don't talk about my film. Don't speculate. Don't have arguments. Don't have conversation. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And at the end, James says, tell us about your Hollywood experience, Matt. Give me some titles. Um, and then we can be on equal footing. Waiting for Nerd Roddick chimes in, says, Gatekeeping movie criticism now, James. You have dug your social media grave, and you are now covering yourself with dirt. I agree. Um, wow. He goes on to say, no, nah, that's what I... That's not what I'm saying. I was coming after a vendor selling clicks, not fans. Sort it out, dude. A vendor selling the Salty Nerd podcast. At the time, right now, only has 700 subscribers. <laughs> Is a vendor selling clicks who has praised this director in other films. <laughs> Oh, Twitter. Oh, Twitter. You never cease to amaze me. 
Uh, <laughs> Matthew ends with, whose clicks am I supposedly selling? <laughs> you love to see it. You love to see it. Hate to see it. What do you guys think? Should the director have just like, you know, left it alone? What do you think? What do you think? This makes me more nervous about Indy 5. <laughs> uh, with the Ryan Johnson treatment. At least he didn't put any middle fingers up like Ryan did. Um, you know. So. Hmm. This is Jay. Let me know your thoughts below. Indy 5. Wow. Okay.